On today's episode of Neri's Kitchen, we'll be talking about omega-369, potentially one of the missing elements in your healthy journey. Omega-3s are essential fatty acids and need to be consumed through food or supplement. They help with your heart and decrease cellular inflammation. Omega-3s are primarily found in vegetable oils such as nuts, flax seeds, flaxseed oil, and leafy vegetables, seafood, fatty fish, and shellfish. Omega-3s help with weight loss by stimulating the secretion of leptin, a hormone that decreases appetite and promotes the burning of fat. Omega-6 fatty acids are found in most vegetable oils, including sunflower oil, corn, and canola oils, as well as meats such as chicken, pork, and beef. And there's no need to supplement with omega-6s because most people already consume omega-6 in their day-to-day -day diet. So you don't want to go out of your way to consume more of them because they will throw off your three to six ratio. Omega-6 are pro-inflammatory in cells, so you want to have a good balance of threes to neutralize the inflammation. The omega-6 are a critical fuel for reigniting sluggish mitochondria, the energy engines in our cells. Omega-6 helps stimulate skin and hair growth, maintain bone health, regulate metabolism, and maintain the reproductive system. Omega-9s are a pro-anti-inflammatory element and aren't considered essential, so the body makes them as long as you are consuming threes and six. Nines play a role in utilizing fat as fuel. During a day, you should get a higher omega-3 consumption if you are healthy, 200 to 500 milligrams of DHA and EPA per day is recommended. And overall, you want to consume 1,000 to 2,000 of omega 369s. The best time is midday and before bed, so you maximize the anti inflammatory process. And if you're having a hard time digesting fish oils, you can also put them in the freezer. This will allow the pill to move further down the digestive chain before releasing the oils, and this also is a great tactic to consume before bed, increasing your thermoregulation during sleep. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.